In this episode, updating to your bot to have pronoun support, be it a welcome message, a shout out, or various other sentences. Hello, and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. So as usual, we're going to import the example code by pasting the text from the web page link in the description below. We get all six actions here imported and they have their own group as well. Now it's worth noting, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through and not only implement the actions themselves, but we're going to upgrade the custom shout outs and welcome commands that have been done beforehand to show how you can personalize them with pronoun support. So in the current actions we have here, the first custom shout out, and we see here this very generic gender neutral um, messaging here. So we're going to need, need to write this. You might want to change uh, fail shout out. I doubt that very much. You want to keep that generic because it might not be a valid user that's passed in. The set custom shout out. Again, you don't really need to change that at all. Video shout out. You'll certainly want to change that one, much like a regular shout out. And the welcome, which also has a very similar custom shout out. So we're going to go through and update each of these actions today. But before we kick that off, let's have a look at see how that uh, looks. Now I've just uh, disabled the cancel of first words for myself. So it can do the welcome message, do the automated shout out with custom shout out that's been set there. We can do a shout out as well for myself. Again, picking up the custom shout out. And also we can do a video shout out. Of course, we don't have OBS running here at the moment, so it's just gonna do the shout out element part. So we can see here those standard shout out messages there, which we'll be updating shortly. So the first thing to do after importing the actions is to set or update the first words action. So we can check in settings under general and first words that we have something here set to welcome. So in this instance, we need to upgrade this welcome action. If you don't have anything set here, you can just use pronouns first words action there. So that's the first words action to put into action if you don't have anything there before, but we need to go to the welcome action here. Now this actually is gonna be quite simple. We need to add in an action called action. And that will be the first words action. And we then need to put this action at the very top so it runs every time for every user. The next thing to do is to select commands. We're gonna select commands for both the pronouns and the example sentences to make sure that they're working. So first, the pronouns command. I'm going to use two commands here, pronouns and pronoun. And I want to do the location to be exact. So that has to be exactly what's typed. We don't have anything you want to type after this command. So that's why we use exact. If we have two options for a command, you can, um, the best practice is to put the longer word first. So the matching is done correctly that way. And the action is the pronouns command. And we want to allow anyone to use this. So primarily the pronouns command is just to see what it's set to. But if no one has a pronoun set already, then they can update it at the website and then run the pronouns command and that'll do an additional check. They'll always do a false check. So that's that command set up. 
and then we're going to add in the pronouns example command again want to do an exact match and the pronoun example sentences command will be there so to update your commands you probably want to use a reference at uh, vrflad.com slash pronouns.html the link for that is in the description below this is going to give you a reference about the pronoun support but what's really important is you've got the different examples of the pronouns at the bottom we have the pronoun e uh, examples of sentences as well so we know for example pronoun subject is he for my example my, my instance he found the idea of personal gender pronoun brackets pgp support amazing pronoun object so that's him so you can see here on the table here so it's pronoun object got the details here to work it all out so we don't need to convince him that the idea that GoMan came up with the PGP support was great and so forth the third column if it was a gender neutral be their favorite videos are VR Flads stream of bot bites then if user was able to help with this like slashy 101 did then it would be they for example would be proud of themselves or alternatively, he would be proud of himself, Faye with fair self. So we can see how they all fit him with the examples there. And now we're ready to upgrade the actions. So we'll start off with a welcome. There's two places here where we're sending out the message. And so these are where we can actually upgrade them. So what we do is we add in an action, pronoun support add in standard. Now there's two of these. Standard is when we have a likelihood that the user has sent a message before. And force check is if they haven't. So for example, shout outs, you probably want to use a force check. We definitely want to use standard here because the check has been done in that initial action. So we want to put this before we send any message to that user. And we can say, welcome user. We see that your pronoun is set to percent pronoun. So now it welcomes the user that identifies it knows their pronoun. Then the custom shout out. So we see it's uh, currently custom shout out so it adds custom shout out text check out target user at then it's the url who last played game so i want to change this not only just to change it so they played because they may be doing something else so i'm changing it to present pronoun subject so that's he she they for example was last streaming then the game so let's just update that i'm going to copy and paste that in just to make it a little bit easier and quicker so you can see here, putting that custom shout out there. It's putting the, and uh, yep, we can do that. What we can do here is we can use pronoun as well. So we can say check out target user and it'll show the pronouns afterwards. So we're using two parts of the pronoun code here. So what, that's the welcome done. Let's go up to a custom shout out. First, I'm going to paste in the standard shout out update we've done here. Then we need to add in the action. Because it's a shout out, I would say force check, but I'd do it after we have done these checks, because if you don't need to do any shout out, it's not worth doing an additional load of the code here. And finally, the video shout out we need to do as well. Again, the message we can update here, same as before, identifying the pronoun, and then we can add in the action to be a force check one. Again, after a point where it's going to definitely proceed, so after we've done some checks here. So now let's see what happens when we actually do our first words action. We can see it's picking up the pronoun, 
is shouting out with the pronoun, both as a he, him being shown, but also within the sentence. You can see if I do a shout out, it's picking up those details as well. And finally, the video shout out also updated with the pronoun support. And finally, we can run pronouns example. We can see here that's been pulled up there. And just to add, if we have a user without any pronouns set, for example, the pot at the current, we can see here it's pointing out that they're not set and where to go to set them. But we also see in the pronouns example, that uses gender neutral terms. So it always falls back to those if they're not set. So we know that if people don't set them, it's perfectly fine, it'll pick up and it'll do an assumption of gender neutral. So let's go through each action to see what makes this up. So the example sentences pulls in the standard pronoun support then sends messages using pronoun subject. So this is going to refer to the web page, which is in the description below for the pronouns. There's an additional one you can see here. Pronoun object lower. It's worth one noting, lower is a full lowercase word. Pronoun possessive. So there, for example, or his. And finally here, it's putting the username as well. Using pronoun subject lower and pronoun reflexive lower as well. So themselves, for example, reflexive lower example there. And obviously pronoun subject lower could be something like he. Pronouns command. So this works in a couple of different ways. So this kind of runs almost as a standalone example for the most part. It looks for user-specific values for pronoun and pronoun update. So pronoun is the current pronoun that's been set. And it uh, could be he, him, for example. That is for me. And pronoun update is a value in um, a single number format, which is the current day. So each day that value is going to incre increment by one. And this is really important. We'll see that in a moment. Then it's going to execute code. And I'll show you that in just a second. But once it's got that, it will get the pronoun again, because it sets it back as a user variable. If it doesn't equal anything, so it doesn't mean set by the code, it will then break with the fail message. The fail message is you don't have it set for the user, this is where to set it. Otherwise, it's going to say your pronouns registered at this location are pronoun. So let's have a look at the C sharp code here. It's going to be a bit more, bit more complicated. So within here, we're using various libraries for connecting to network location to do some work connections. Some JSON work as well. This is to define the HTTP client, which we will use. We pull in the arguments from pronoun. So this is what we've pulled in from the variable. We also pull out the pronoun update. If it's set to none, which is the default value, so we don't have a pronoun set in the user variable, we'll set it to double quotes. This means it's going to be similar to the result we get back from the pronouns API if it is not being set. We get current date and time. As I said, it's a day in a number format. And what we can do then is saying if the pronoun update is less than that, so if it's basically not being checked today, or the pronoun is not being set at all, then we're going to attempt to, to update it, which is this code below. We get the username. We set a pronoun JSON to fail as a way to do a bit of double checking just to be absolutely sure. We also have a fail state, which is false by just by um, by standard. So if something works, that number changes. So we're going to try to get the pronoun JSON. Now, if there's a problem with a service or something like that, 
that try statement will go into the catch. So it's trying to say it gets the results from this API with the username from the user and put it to a pronoun JSON. If it fails, we just set that fail state to true. And if it gets past here and the pronoun JSON has not updated for some reason, it's a bit paranoia here. We'll also set it to true. It's going to try and look through the JSON output, even if it's failed at this point. And it'll go through each of those objects to look for a pronoun ID, which is passed back, and put it into a string, ending up in current pronoun. Now, if the fail state is set here, so if it's set to true, we won't write the pronoun update. Say we haven't updated the pronoun today. And that's why we want to continue past this point because what we end up with is current pronoun. We're going to check against it, against the values we get back. And we can see he, him, it sets the user variables for all the different ones for he, him, AE slash AER, and so forth, amongst all the different options that we can get back from that service. If we don't get a valid one back, we set these here. So pronoun is empty, so it's not been set. And we use gender neutral terms for all the objects. And then we quit out of that. So this code is used elsewhere as well. So, but we can see here pronoun support add in standard, which basically pulls all these variables that we've declared in that previous C -sharp code into local variables to be used in the sentences, like we did to upgrade. With the force check, you'll recognize this code. It's exactly the same we've just been through. Fail message, just to you know already. First words action, again, pulls those two values. Very recognizable code, again. And there you have it, a run through the pronoun support. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to stream a bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide stream bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.